Elon Musk of SpaceX issues shock asteroid warning. He says, it's coming and we have no defense. Perhaps it's because last month, asteroid 2019 OK passed so close to Earth, it just missed us. And uh, it was only found one day before passing Earth. And it was a city killer asteroid. How many more of these are we going to miss? We find the big ones, but these city killer asteroids, because they're smaller, are more difficult to spot. Now, Musk is talking about the Apophis that's supposed to be coming at us first pass in 10 years. And this is the same asteroid that they were trying to replicate in their end of April desktop asteroid drills that they have. They have them every two years and they have not yet succeeded in saving the Earth even on their desktop exercises. Basically what Musk is saying is that Earth does not have a planetary defense system against asteroids. There's no way that they can stop an asteroid. That's what he's trying to say. So, the CEO of SpaceX, the man who will be taking us to the moon and to Mars, issued this strong, shocking asteroid warning. We have no defense and it's coming at us. Gerard Conga of Express UK. Elon Musk admitted Earth has no defense against impending asteroid threats. He responded to Express Apophis God of Chaos asteroid story. NASA has already begun preparations for the arrival of asteroid 99942 Apophis, the God of Chaos asteroid. It'll skim past Earth in 10 years. The asteroid is 340 meters, it's about 1,000 feet across, and will pass Earth in just 19,000 miles distance. Apophis is one of the largest asteroids to pass so close to Earth's surface and a collision with the planet has the potential, of course, to be devastating for all life on Earth. So this billionaire CEO of SpaceX, Elon Musk, gives his chilling assessment after responding to friend Joe Rogan, who shared the story about the asteroid from uh, the report. Musk tweeted, Great name, wouldn't worry about this particular one, but a big rock will hit Earth eventually, and we currently have no defense. But NASA has taken steps towards studying and protecting Earth from asteroids. It considers hazardous, but currently has no protocols to defend against Earth colliding space objects. Let's say you find it, and it's come out of, uh, coming out. What do you do? Earlier this year, NASA announced its first planetary defense technology demonstration for the next three years. It's a double asteroid redirect test, DART for short. It'll be NASA's first asteroid mission to demonstrate a planetary defense technique. They're going to use it on a twin asteroid system. Two asteroids coming together, and one is big, one is small, and they are aiming at the little one to see if they can somehow move it significantly from its path, from its trajectory. And it'll be some kind of a, of a trial run, let's put it that way. They want to get their feet wet with a real live thing to see what they can do with when the big object comes at us. They have to get this down pat and they're going to try it with a real celestial object. So they'll get this one chance to hit its target, the small moonlet in the binary star asteroid, binary asteroid system called Didymus, which means twin in Greek. The asteroid poses no threat to Earth and is an ideal test target because it allows scientists to study how the smaller asteroids orbit. The Apophis asteroid, set to get closer to Earth than even the communication and weather satellites are in our orbit, most satellites in Earth's orbit are geostationary around 36 kilometers away. That's 22,236 miles. Apophis is traveling at about 25,000 miles every hour. 
meaning a slight detour from its trajectory could be catastrophic for us. Apophis's size and proximity to Earth have resulted in it being categorized as potentially hazardous asteroid PHA, and NASA is keen to learn as much from the asteroid as possible to help prevent further asteroid issues, of course, in the future. So work has been ramped up at the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory, Laurel, uh, Laurel Maryland, and other locations in the country as the mission heads towards its summer 2021 launch in two years. NASA scientists are aware that the asteroid flies by the planet in 10 years. In April of 2029, its orbit trajectory, we're talking about, of course, the Apophis asteroid, its orbit trajectory may also change, thus raising fears that in the future, the massive asteroid could collide with the planet. So the asteroid is expected to shine exceptionally bright in the sky and pick up speeds as it flies across the sky in 2029. According to some researchers, the immense size of the asteroid is not a cause for concern as there is a 1 to 100,000 chance of the asteroid striking Earth. So yeah, the colossal god of chaos arriving in the next 10 years. And NASA is preparing for the upcoming Apophis asteroid, considered potentially hazardous. It'll pass us close, that so close it'll be under the um, geocentric satellites, under the TV satellites. NASA already begins preparations for the arrival of Apophis, the god of chaos. It'll skim past us the next 10 years. As we said, it's a thousand feet across and it'll pass only 19,000 miles from Earth's surface. It's one of the largest asteroids to pass so close to Earth's surface and a collision with us, of course, has the potential of devastating life on Earth. It's said to get closer to the Earth than communications and weather satellites in orbit which are geostationary 36,000 kilometers away, 22,000 miles. It's traveling 25,000 miles an hour, and a slight detour from its path could be catastrophic. NASA is aware that the asteroid flies by the planet in 2029. Its orbit trajectory may also change, thus raising fears that in the future, the massive asteroid could collide in the planet. It depends on how close it's going to be if it goes into the keyhole of uh, a certain um, space location. And depending on where it passes us, they'll be able to understand where, where if it would be closer to us the next time it comes around. It'll be traveling so fast, it'll cross the width of the moon in one minute and be as brightly lit as stars in the sky. According to some researchers, the immense size of this is not the cause for a concern. There's only one to 100,000 chance of striking the Earth, but they're preparing to study the rock as it flies by our Earth, and insist, NASA insists it would be a great opportunity for the world to learn more about similar asteroids, of course. But let's just get rid of this one. Radar NASA scientist Marina Brozovic said the Apophis close approach in 2029 will be an incredible opportunity for science. And astronomer David Farnoccia said we already know that the close encounter with Earth will, will, with Earth will change Apophis's orbit. It'll change the Apophis orbit. But our models also show the close approach could change the way the asteroid spins. So it's possible that there will be some surface changes like small avalanches. The path of the asteroid as it passes by our planet has also been estimated by scientists. It will be first visible to the naked eye when it arrives in the sky over the southern hemisphere. Okay, so the Australians will have a better look at it, shooting across the east coast to the west coast of Australia. It will continue to make its way around the world across the Indian Ocean and on its way to the U.S. 
Its closest approach will be over the Atlantic Ocean as the evening arrives in the U.S. and due to the immense speed the asteroid is traveling at, it will cross the ocean in an hour and continue to fly off into space. Paul Chodas, the director of CNEOs, the Close Near Earth, um, Center for uh, Near Earth uh, Objects, added the Apophis is a representative of about 2,000 currently known potentially hazardous asteroids. NASA tracks them and they have a list of them on space weather. By observing Apophis during its 2029 flyby, we'll gain important scientific knowledge that could one day be used for planetary defense. Of course, one of them being how close it's going to be the next time it comes around. Scientists named the rock Apophis after the Egyptian god of Chaos, also known as Apep, or Apophis, Apep. I'll leave links below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece. In Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.